everyone said thank you so much for joining me today. I thought I'd do a monthly favorites video because August was a really great month for me and I see a lot of other YouTubers doing this too. So I thought, why not jump on the bandwagon and do a monthly favorites video? So here we go. Let's talk about my monthly favorites. And the first thing I want to talk about is something that I got for my birthday. And this was the second week in August. And that is this crystal right here or rock, whatever you want to call it. This is Rainbow Moonstone, and it is in a egg shape, and I absolutely love it. It's got spots of black tourmaline in it and a little bit of aquamarine in there, if you can kind of find it, but there's a lot of little hidden parts to this, and every time I look at it, I find something different and something new, and I absolutely love it because every time I hold this, when I'm just like laying bed or just kind of messing around on my Kindle, I find myself kind of grabbing for this and just holding it in my hand and it makes me feel so just relaxed and calmed and I don't know why but it's just something that I've really been drawn to lately and you've got to check this the properties out for this stone because it's just absolutely amazing this is rainbow moonstone so if you're into crystals I highly check I highly recommend that you check this out it is awesome and it has tons of different shapes too but this egg just was, just, I was, I feel so drawn to it. So, yeah, and I, I, I love it. And I love holding it in my hand. It feels good. So, there's that. <laughs> I gotta put this down or I'm gonna keep it in my hand the whole video. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, and I can't do this video without mentioning at least one Lush product, and that is Buttered Brazils, okay? So, I don't know why I haven't gotten this sooner. This is such a great lip balm and I normally like rose olipop because I had a sample of that once and I was like I gotta get rose olipop I love that consistency but butter Brazils is so oh, much better this has a buttery chocolate scent to it and it's just awesome I love the feel of this on the lips and I've used quite a bit of it and I do have two of these well this one and one other so two in total and I do want to get some more of this before it's discontinued because it was going to be discontinued last year, but the fans fought hard and brought it back. And this year it is officially on the discontinued list, so it won't be around anymore. And I just, I love it. I am normally a person that wears a lot of chapstick or lip products in general because my lips are like dry and cracks all the time. Or, you know, I pick at them if they're dry, so I have to, you know, keep them, you know, moisturized and I've noticed since I've been wearing since I've been using this and wearing this on my lips um I don't reach for a lot of lip products like I don't reach for a lot of chapsticks I don't need anything on my lips just because they're so soft and so moisturized since I've been using this I don't use as much lip products as I used to which is really nice to know that this condition conditions your lips very nicely and uh, it's got a great scent, great taste, absolutely love it. So highly recommend you get this before it is discontinued. This is a great, great lip balm. Blom. Balm. It's a lip balm. <laughs> I'm tripping on my words. But anyway, check this out. It's great. Totally recommend this. Okay. The next product that I want to tell you about that I really have been loving is this Grandpa's Salve. Or slob, however you want to say that, but there is this um, couple of, I don't know how you explain it, it's like this weekend festival that they do in the state over from me, and it's out in the woods, and it's got all these little nice shops made with a lot of home held, uh, handmade decorative things for your house, and they also have handmade products, and there was this little apothecary shop that kind of draw my, drew my eye, you know what I mean, it had a lot of like handmade herbal stuff like stuff for um splinters stuff stuff for everything basically i don't know how to explain it and um they had this here and i i just i was really drawn to it and so basically this grandpa's salve is like an antiseptic ointment so it's good for cuts burns bruises just any open areas in general um and i thought this would be great to use on my face and it has been healing up quite a bit. I have three marks still. I'll show you here. So there's one, two, and a little one down here, and three. So basically four. And I did have one here, but this held up pretty quickly. And I haven't been picking or scratching at it because it's completely healed. So if I just leave these alone, 
this will do the job. It has been just so great in healing those spots. If I can just get myself to not mess with it and let it do its job, then they will heal and my skin will heal faster. But this has just been great. It's all natural and everything that's in this is just magical. I don't know how to explain it. It has this little bit of a tingling, like a healing tingling, not like a bad tingle on it. But the ingredients in this are pure olive oil, beeswax, beeswax, vegetable glycerin, Native American golden seal root powder, aloe vera oil, burdock, and calliandula. So I don't know what any of that is, um, especially the funky names like calliandula or Native American golden seal powder root, root powder. I don't know what that is. But whatever is in this has been magical and just awesome. I have used quite a fair bit of it, but there's still a lot left in this container. And um, yeah, so I am definitely going to be using this over Neosporin. <laughs> this has just been great. I don't know how else to explain it. And if you want to check this out, this is from Herbs for Healthful Living. So they make this. If you want to look them up, I will put them in the down bar below. There's that. And the next thing I have to show you guys is this awesome shirt I got on Etsy from this store that's called um, Unicorn Empire something. I, I'll put the thing down below, but you've got to check out the prints of this. So they had, I, I loved all of the different designs that they had, but I thought, you know what, why don't I do something different and try one of their mystery shirts. So they have a mystery shirt for either woman or men, and I picked one of each, and I will show you the one that I got for the woman's. And it's just awesome. I don't know if they like knew me or in, were in tuned to kind of what I wanted, but this is just amazing. Like as far as a surprise design shirt goes, like not knowing what they're gonna give you, I, I definitely got the best one I could say here. And let me show you, okay? So look at this, okay? This is Live Long and Prosper. If you can see that, just an awesome Star Trek design. I absolutely love this. Like, how cool. It's got the phaser guns. It's got the hand making the um, Live Long and Prosper symbol. You know what I mean? The hand making that. And just the bold print and even the sigil over here in the middle on um, top. I just absolutely love that. And it does say NCC 1701. So how cool, you know, just the detail in this design. They have a lot of original designs. And this one was just awesome that I got this as a mystery one. You know what I mean? I, I love the Star Trek movies, the newer ones by J.J. Abrams that have been coming out. And also, I'm a big Next Generation fan, so I definitely like Picard. <laughs> and I do like Kirk, too, so I've been trying to get more into the older series as well. But I, I like Next Generation. But anyway, I'm a huge Star Trek fan. Huge nerd just in general, and you've got to check them out. They have a bunch of different awesome designs, really catered to fandom, and they even have a Firefly shirt, which is probably going to be the next one that I get. So I highly recommend you check them out. They're going to be down in the down bar below. I will link that store. So yeah, I can't believe I came across this brand. Like, look at how awesome it is. It is a just basically a Fruit of the Loom shirt with the print design on it, and this is a woman's extra large. Typically, I'm about a large in shirts, but this fits perfectly. So if you're a woman trying to buy these shirts, go a size up. If you're a man, the shirts fit as accurately as you think. So if you're medium, get a medium. If you're large, get a large. Whatever size you are, get that size. But for women in their shirts, they are a little bit tighter. So definitely get a size up. They fit very comfortably. I have washed this once, and it's just been awesome. Like, I, I've worn this... And it feels great, doesn't shrink, it has kept its size, and I absolutely love this shirt. So I highly recommend you check that out on Etsy. Just absolutely great store. I can't rave about it enough. Blah. And I'm done <laughs> blabbering and saying absolutely a bunch, but I probably will more in this video because, you know, I like to repeat myself. Anyway, let's get on to the movie. Movie for this month is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And I missed this when they had it in theaters because I was just so busy. But this movie is awesome. I finally got it out when it came out on DVD and it's just been, it, it's awesome. I love Little Baby Groot, it's so cute. It's really heartwarming and funny and I just, I love the sense of like family that you get by watching the Guardians just 
doing what they do, kicking ass and saving the galaxy. You know what I mean? They're just awesome. So this is a great movie to check out. Absolutely love this. And then the last and final thing that I want to say for this month as my favorite, you have to check this out, okay? The book that I have been reading is Ready Player One. Now, me and my husband came across this by actually watching the trailer. So we found out that this was going to be a movie in either 2018 or 2019. And I'm so excited. The trailer blew me away. Just the epicness of how awesome it was. Just in the background, that um, Pure Imagination song and this huge orchestra display of music it, it was amazing the trailer blew me away and we when we found out it was a book we bought it on audible and i also got him the hardback book for his birthday and i think he has it somewhere around here now so i can't show you the hardback book but you have to check out this book if you had not heard about it please please either watch the trailer or read the book my husband flew through the book in literally four days he loved it that much i'm about either a quarter or halfway through and i still love it myself just the way that it's written is so catered to fans of any genre. Like, absolutely love it. Video games in general, movies, 80s pop culture. I just, my universe, man, my universe. It's, it's, it's great, and I absolutely love it. And, um, yeah, so I'm still reading it, and it's still been really awesome. And the audiobook is done by Will Wheaton. So if that doesn't give you enough push to either buy the audiobook or the actual book, you have to get it. Uh, the book is written by Ernest Klein, I believe. Uh, and I know that sounds bad that I don't even know the author when I'm so sucked into how awesome this book is. But he's awesome. He wrote the script for Fanboys, which is a really cool movie that I love. And um, yeah, so he's roughly new. This was his first book that he wrote, and it's just been amazing. I absolutely can't say enough good things about it. You have to check this book out. Ready Player One. Watch the trailer. Read the book. Man, I'm telling you, it's going to be epic. So good. I can't wait for it to come out. I, I just, I can't say enough about it. I mean, Will Wheaton does the audiobook, and he does an amazing job, too. He kind of gives the voices a bit of character and stuff to it. And, and the way he reads it is just typical, sexy Will Wheaton voice. I don't know how else to say that. So <laughs> anyway, that's all of my favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please check out this Etsy store and definitely get some of that Lush Butter Brazils. And um, I will link and type everything that were my favorites down below so you can look them up yourself if you want. And yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a great day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!